Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to a very special, the first special episode, in fact, of the Free Thinkers Association. Today, we are going to be playing the brand new and all loved oh, Metroid. Metroid Dread. Man. So. We have already had quite a history with this game, as far as uh, this podcast goes, podcast live hybrid thing. Um, as every, as you guys continue to listen, take a notice of how many times we talk about this game. We love this game. Absolutely. This has this game has yeah. Go ahead and start, but yeah, this okay. game has snuck its way into my uh, top five we'll do it games on the third. of yeah just clear the third out this game has snuck its way into my top five games of all time which one do you want to do let's just do normal okay good i'll be able to live i'm shit at this <laughs> yeah dread is quite a video game i I've never really been, I don't know, I've always been a fan of Metroid, right? But I've never been, I've never thought of myself as like an Omega fan of Metroid. Which is weird, because I love the Metroid series. It's just never been one of those series that I think about when I think about like, that's not even true, right? I'll yeah. think I love best games of all time, and I'll think of several Metroid games. Like, I'll think of Super Metroid, I'll think of Prime 2, I'll think of a couple different games. I'll, I'll think of Fusion, I'll think of Zero Mission. Yeah. But it never occurs to me that Metroid is a series I love that much. They just don't come out. That's you true. don't get to think about them. I don't get to think about them. But, like, Dread has, like, reignited that fire in me. I'm like, holy fucking shit. Yeah. These games are so good. So damn good. I love this. I love particularly the game this one takes place in, Fusion. Yeah, you're a big Fusion stan. I, s I do think Dread is a better game. I, I do too, but, you know, that's actually a controversial opinion. The first one of the podcast, to think that oh? Fusion's good. Like, really? Yeah. I haven't seen anybody shit on Fusion. When Fusion came out, people were fucking angry. People did not like Fusion for the longest time. It's got a lot of respect in later years, but Fusion was not respected for a long time, which sucks, because SAX is so cool. SAX it, is cool. Just, like, the story was real good. Yeah. It had... It was more linear, and you weren't... You actually had to deal with being a bounty hunter, you know? Like... Yeah. You had to... Samus had a job to do. And she had a lot of talking, which people were just not about. People don't like it when Samus talks. I forgot that Samus talks in that game. I watched a clip earlier today. She talks a lot in that game. Yeah, she uh, gets real angry at AI Adam. Yeah. A, a number of times. Well, Adam basically tells her that she's nothing more than a pawn and that she should just be doing what she's told. Yeah. So. And then, and then Samus is like starts. Uh, referring to the AI Adam just as Adam. Yeah. And then, like, he creates a new plan. A good plan. Yes. It's just... I love that game. I love Emmys. Emmys are... It's cool. What and, an interesting uh, way to make the dread aspect, like, real. Yeah. There's not very many enemies in horror-ish type games where... I am actually worried about them getting me. I mean, you're so good at tracking you. Yeah. I think that's what took this game so long to come out. Mm -hmm. Like, they really... The idea for Dread has always been to focus on the SAX. To focus on that type of gameplay. Because yeah. the SAX is okay at finding you. Yeah. It's mechanically okay. But it's not fantastic. Right? Like, it's not mm -hmm. great. Emmys are like flawless they are ridiculous they will catch you and the, the like last two are pains in the butt they give they have so much range they have so many abilities like they're cool they really do put the dread and metroid dread like even when i'm like going whenever i've like practiced this game a little bit i still find myself doing a deep breath and stopping right before the emmy doors 
Yeah, I'm always rushing through the Emmy zones trying to get to the next door to get a save point so I can just start from there if I die instead. Yeah, I I really like the implementation of the Emmys. Also, this game looks so fucking good. Yeah, it's such a good looking game. And it has, like, real lighting. It does. I've heard some stuff that's made me upset Have recently you? that's tied into this game partially. Huh? Like, rumors are right now that the next console Nintendo's working on has mm. already... That's the 4K dev kits that people have had. Yeah. It's actually the Switch 2. And it's not back compatible. Uh, that would be such a... That's so dumb. That would be so dumb if that's the case. That's what I've heard so far. Everything I've heard about the Switch 2 so far said it's not backwards compatible. Which, if that ends up being the case, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. As yeah. I just, just fucking make the OLED pay capable of doing DLSS and I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Do you know the dock actually has a DLSS chip in it in the 4K Switch? It has a thing for it. And Does it, it doesn't use it. The, the Switch dock... The new one, the OLED one, has hardware inside of it the new, the old one doesn't have for 4K support, and it's disabled. Why? I don't know. Why are the USB o Why are the USB 3.0 ports on the back of the Switch fucking disabled? Are they? They're not 3.0. No, they're just blue because they take 3.0. Okay. They're 2.0 ports colored like 3.0 ports because they're capable of 3.0 but don't actually take 3.0. Okay. It's just a software thing. It's a it's a checkbox. Huh. It's weird. It's ridiculous. Like if you're gonna put the hardware in, fucking use it. Did you skip the cutscene? Yeah. Okay, no. No. That was, was just like that was just Adam talking. Okay. Ooh. It's this chuckle fuck. Alright. Uh, Imagine being Samus, you know, it's been several years of being a bounty hunter, you know, whatever, Chozo ruins, whatnot, they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. You've been back to your home planet a few times, you blew up your home planet, you know, as what you went to the planet that your family like made a terrible wasteland, it's all good. And then you just see one of these fuckers, just alive. Yeah. Like how? How did you get here? What happened to you? Are you one of the ones that Samus saved? Like Where'd you come from? It's weird. Chozos yeah. should be dead. The fact that one's alive and is immediately hostile. Yeah, it doesn't bode well. Yeah. It just does not. Oof. Look at those eyebrows. Foreshadowing. <laughs> This suit's so fucking cool. All of the suits are cool. I like them. I like this suit so much. Metroid Prime 4. Yep. You've never played a Prime game, have you? No. I'm gonna have to. You are gonna have to. They, uh, they all take place from Samus's point of view, which is pretty obvious because they're first-person shooters, right? But yeah. like, you don't really realize what that means until you're playing the game. Like, you can see the sides of the visor. You can all the all the UI elements, like the missile counters, the energy bar, all that, has been made in a way that it makes sense that Samus would see it in her in her helmet. Yeah. Like everything makes total sense. The helmet oh, shifts a little bit when you turn. It's just cool. I just really like the way that they implemented everything. Mm-hmm. Here we go. It's the first one. It's the first Adam checkpoint. Do you think the military would make a lot of money if they started selling guns that were also USB sticks? So you've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. Huh. I have reviewed your vital status <laughs> and video log from the data you uploaded. Maybe? I don't know. It's weird and like only works because it's Samus. That's not even true because these have to be universal. Yeah, well, I know that like the Chozos have them. 
physical amnesia. But like, who else in the Metroid universe has these weird arm guns? Kind of everyone? Really? There's different weapons and stuff, but like, they wouldn't make these ports if people couldn't use them. Yeah. So what, if you don't have a gun that's also a USB stick, you just have to buy and keep a, se a separate USB stick with you? This planet appears yes. to consist of multiple That's annoying. Shuttles, it would be, yeah. Elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. The ship's is USB 4.0 a thing map. yet? Check it for yourself. I've never heard of it. I don't know if it is. There's been a lot of advancements in technology recently, though. Like, a lot for, like, hardware and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Because, like, HDMI 2.0 is a thing, which yeah. I wonder if we're going to get to the point, well, we absolutely will, so I don't know why there's a point in wondering, but when cables are going to start doing DLSS, when cables hmm. themselves are going to be starting to upscale. I don't know. I mean, I've purchased a couple upscalers in my day. The main upscaler I use right now is for my Dreamcast, that upscaler that goes from 480i to 1080p. Mm -hmm. Oh, parries. The parry system is cool. It's cool, and I really never used it properly. They did so much with it in this game compared to SR. Ah, right. Mm hmm. Ah. You know you can smack it, right? Yeah, I just wanted to jump up here, though. Eh, I forgot I have to hit the button. You have to hit the other button. Yeah, HDMI 2.0 is apparently going to start becoming readily available with uh, new televisions. It's interesting. I know, because right now the cables are ungodly expensive. Yeah. That's just technology, I guess. Yeah. 8K TVs are already a thing, too. 8K OLEDs. Interesting. I wonder uh, what the wait. next big... Hold up. No, I wanted to see if I could get it. You can't get there from there yet. Nah, cause if I use the, uh, the fucking thing, the bee in the air, you can go back faster oh, that's on slopes. Oh, that's true, that's true. Ah, uh, it's this chuckle fuck. Yeah, the first Emmy. What happened to this guy? Um, I think when the Emmys first landed, this, before, uh, the Chozo knew really what was happening. He, like, beat this one up. Yeah, but Samus can't even touch these things. Yeah, but, like, he's real strong. You know, I was gonna say, but Samus can't even touch an Emmy at the end of the game. That's literally not true. That's literally not <laughs> That's true. That's literally not true. Oh, yeah, uh, we are probably gonna say stuff that happens later in the game, so if this is your first time trying to experience it, it may not be the best one. Uh... If you haven't experienced Metroid Dread by now, I'd recommend just... If you don't care, that's one thing. But, like, if you care a lot, then I'd recommend just going and playing the game. Yeah. In any means you can, but please purchase it. Mm -hmm. if, if you don't purchase it at first, purchase it later. That's all I'm... That's basically my discretion on it. Yeah. As long as you buy it. Metroid games, they don't sell. No. Saying they don't sell is an insult to things that don't sell. Because they sell better than Metroid. <laughs> yeah. It is amazing how a series that began on the NES by the largest company in Japan, Nintendo, on their own platform, that has been advertised and pushed in several markets, all together, has a cumulatively had a sales number of every game it ever made lower than 20 million. Yeah. That's less than a singular Mario game. Uh huh. When are we switching off? Eh, whatever. I'll, I'll okay. Right now. We'll figure it out. I'll do it now. Okay. I want to do the boss fight. Okay. What up? Shit, what were we talking about? Metroid sales. Oh, yeah, Metroid sales. I mean, in comparison to like other Nintendo NES games, Metroid really didn't do that hot. Really? It seemed like it did fine. It did fine, but like, I remember... 
We have... Hold up. I'll look up the specific sales for both the original Legend of Zelda and uh, Mario for NES. No, not salsy. Sales. Why can't I spell? God, I'm stupid. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> you can't get this joke. I can't jump. do it, man. I'm so bad. Oh yeah, for those of you who don't know, this is uh, for sequence breaking. Yeah, oh, fuck it. We'll, nah, we'll just play it. Just play the game like it was meant to be played. Like a bunch of losers. Okay, for Super Mario Bros from the video game sales wiki, which does, like, differentiate, like, all-stars in that. Okay, but still that doesn't really count. You can't so, really count Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. It was still bundled with the console. It, it still was bundled with the console, but, like, 40 million? Yeah, everyone who owns an NES has the game. That's Super Mario that Bros. 2, 16. See, that's better. Uh, that actually is three, how much all of Metroid 23. sold. Yeah, okay, wow. All of Metroid is, uh, once... Oh, I skipped the cutscene, sorry. Whoopsie. Oops. But that's okay. Watch it online if this is your first time watching. This yeah. is online. This is online, just don't watch this one. Okay, just don't watch this Clearly. One. The original Legend of Zelda sold 6.51 million. That's... Terrible. It's not as I, oh, much I, as I expected. Yeah, yet. That's in nothing. general, but like Mario is effectively their cash cow. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, Mario is their cash cow. Like Mario's where the money is, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody plays the Mario games. Yeah, Breath of the Wild seems to be their best selling at twenty four million. As far as Tet as far as, I was gonna say, as far as Tetris goes, as far as Zelda goes. Yeah. How well did Tetris do? Tetris. A NES Tetris? Yeah. That is check if it shows up. NES Tetris sales. I guess uh, people won't get to know the story. What do you mean? Oh, you l yeah. Stop. Whatever. Just whatever. This shouldn't be the first place you see this any game anyway. Yeah, but people like watching other people look at and react to it. Well, we'll react to the ones that matter. All that one was saying is that we're gonna die. Yeah, but like, people like- people just like that shit. Listen. You're right. I'm right. <laughs> just slow down a little bit. Alright, fine. It's not how I play games. Yeah. Oh my that god, is... you're, you're too good! You're, you're gonna have to be antithetical to how you play games on the podcast. No. I'm antithetical. I don't like people watching me play games. Yeah, but like you can get over that. I can't. You can get over this. I can't ch fundamentally change the way that my brain operates. I, hey, I want to mash the fucking buttons too. I didn't. I thought about it. Okay, fine. I won't. I'll. I am excited for the one later though. So but yeah. Uh, if we talk about, actually, second best selling was Duck Hunt on the NES. That also doesn't count, man. That game wasn't even sold separately. Okay. Uh, Tetris is 8 million. Okay, you know what? If you do Duck Hunt, and then you subtract that number from Mario, what number do you get? 12 million. Okay, so around 10 million people bought Mario on its own. Yeah, uh, Metroid was 2.7. Okay, that is pretty rough. And that's okay. the best 2D selling Metroid game. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Super Mario 2... This is according to Wikipedia, so I don't know the timing-wise. Uh, 7.46 million. How well did Kid Icarus do? Kid Icarus. One point seven. So worse. So Metroid as a series on the NES sold Metroid three million. Did Metroid is eighteenth for sales. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like add add Kid Icarus, add yeah. Metroid together, you get three. Mm -hmm. Uh Punch Out three million. World class track meet three million. Dragon Quest four three million. 
baseball. Dragon Quest 4 was on the Famicom? I guess. The fuck? Ooh. I had no idea. Yeah, we got no one talks about that game. I really thought that was like a PS1 game. I've yeah. never played it. I, could, I just thought it was later. Mm -hmm. uh, Dragon Quest 3 was 3.8 million. I would expect that to be higher. That's kind of crazy. TMNT 4. Golf 4. Sight Bike 4.1. Zelda 2 4.3. Yes, let's go Zelda 2. Dr. Mario 4.8. Legend of Zelda 6.5. Super Mario Bros. 2, which is 7.4. So, like... I mean, I guess, in comparison to, like, some of the other games they had, Woo! it did well. Like, uh, Donkey Kong, 1.1 million. Ice Climber, 1.5. Kirby's Adventure, 1.7. Yoshi, 1.7. Actually, Kirby's Adventure, Yoshi, and Kid Icarus are basically tied. It, that's a little strange. How will the Kirby's Adventure do? It was like what? 1.75. That's awful. Uh huh. Well, not really, I guess. Breaking a million in this time period was considered good. Yeah. I, I looked at a, like, Microsoft series sales, or like franchise sales, and they are. It is. Surprising in comparison to like Nintendo and their franchises. We have acquired the charge beam. Yes. Our first major pickup. Let us go. Um, so are Microsoft like big? Or are they? Are they? Uh, I think their highest is like eighty million for franchise. That's, that's not a lot. Yeah, it's according franchise. to vgsales.fandom.com, which is. Notorious they're, for being not entirely accurate. Yeah, they're like a couple years behind. Yeah. They should update, but... Uh, let's see. Franchises. Halo, 60 million. Individual games. Individual games? Minecraft. Well, I mean, like, what's uh, Halo individual games like? Is it like three and then a big fall-off? Uh, hold up, let me look up the... Halo, specifically. Halo. 2001, Halo Combat Evolved, 5.5. Halo 2, 8.4. Halo 3, 14.5. Yeah, okay. Incrementally more, that's... And then Halo Wars, 2.6. That's surprisingly high. Halo 3, ODST, 6.3. Reach, 9.8, and then Combat Evolved Anniversary, 2.4, Halo 4, 9.7, Halo The Master Chief Collection, 8.13 plus, I, I guess it was still being counted, or something. Uh, Halo 5 Guardians, 9.5, Halo Wars 2, 2.2, Halo Wars Definitive Edition, 500,000. But this was, uh, 2017? so bad at this, dude. I'm and so bad at it. the time that they uh, did it was around then anyways, so. Okay. Ooh, we got, we got the little light ball. You wanna know something interesting? Huh. Those little eyeballs are mm -hmm. the same kind of cameras as Mother Brain had on Zebes, and that, or Zebes, however the hell you pronounce it, I don't know. The I planet, just say Zebes. Yeah, Zebes, the planet that Samus grew up. And those are what, uh... Those raised Samus, basically, because Mother Brain raised Samus. Did Mother Brain raise Samus? Yeah, she was alive. I've just for fucking forgotten the beginning story. Where is the central unit? It's it's in the right side, I think? Is it? Am I supposed to just go no. walking back around? No, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. That's, that's where the boss is. It's the left. I think it's... I'm not supposed to deal with it right now, I don't think. Well, you already took out the boss, right? No. No? Well, I did the I did it first before the boss. Okay. Because it wants you to head up here. Yeah, because it wants right, you to... Right, charge, charge beam door. Yeah, that's the charge beam door. Um, 
This is to leave, though, so we don't really need to be here. No, we do. Really? Yes. It does in this area just head to Cataris? No. You sure? Yes. Okay. That one is uh, Fireland, I believe. It is not. So one of these is... Okay. Yeah, it's Yeah, no. One. We're not close to the Cataris. We are no, close. No, we are. But, like, we have a lot of rooms here. This is where the thermal Those door is. Those two are the fire. No saving. Not needed. Okay. Just don't die. I won't. Um, let's see. For Sony, according to this website, Dude, the Sony best games feel like they do crazy. The best-selling one, or C franchise, apparently, it's Gran Turismo, eighty million. That wow, that's it. Apparently, I was gonna say that doesn't surprise me. Th I'm pretty and sure then you these said are... like nothing, and you said pocket change. Yeah, I thought this was a. Uh... Remember that this was like 2017, so sales have obviously gone up. Oh, for sure. Uncharted, though, is a big gap. How much lower do you think it is? 70 million to what, 43? 28. Whoa! Yeah. 28 million? They made a movie! Yeah. Perhaps the situation remains unclear. It's but your like... You gotta get to the surface, guys. You return to the ship. You have activated the Magnus we've, we've activated the Magnus, 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 Magnus supply system the that has restored power to the closed thermal doors. I gotta look for the thermal doors to proceed. Continue to search for the <laughs> you just doing this to... The first okay. It is the only way you can confront them. I really do like Adam's voice. I just stopped I like it. this. You may have His voice is nice. After an enemy is destroyed. But like, there are six remaining they have... No five franchises them. apparently that have gone over 20 million crash god of war ratchet and clank and then uncharted that is crash doesn't do theirs anymore yeah after that the next one is spyro at 12. then sing star 12 infamous 10 everybody's golf slash hot shots golf 7.5 Jack and Daxter 7.5, SOCOM 7, and that series hasn't had a game since the PS2. Yeah. Uh, iToy 6.7. iToy? Yeah, I don't even know what that is. You know Same with Buzz. Oh my god, Buzz? That was on the Wii, though. Mm. Then we have Sly Cooper, Twisted also Metal. Also series, I didn't really do much. And then... Same with Twisted Metal. I love Twisted Metal. At the bottom of the list is ATV Off-Road Fury. And the, I only know that it's a game on the PS2. I have nothing. I know nothing else. They're about on a lot of other a consoles. franchise. Okay. But like, you know, Disney made a uh, BMX game. Did they? They did. It came bundled with Kung Fu Panda. Huh. Which isn't a Disney movie. Interesting. Uh, weird, weird fun fact. It was an ATV BMX game. Yeah. I think it focused primarily on ATVs. Okay. But it was a very strange game to come bundled with Kung Fu Panda, thinking about it. Seeing as the two have nothing alike. Yeah. I, I might be wrong. Either either it came bundled with Kung Fu Panda or it came bundled with something else. Because I know I did not own that game by itself. Mm. What, what do you think their best-selling game is, and what is the number? A Sony? Yeah. Didn't you say it already? Gran Turismo? No, that's the best-selling franchise. Oh, best-selling game? Uh, The Last of Us. Correct. It was The Last of Us and The Last of Us Remastered. Are they, are they considered the same? They're considered... They're counted as the same. Alright, Sony's best-selling singular game, 35. 24. I was close. You were close. After that is Marvel Spider-Man PS4. That makes sense. Is that 18? 20. Nice. Yeah, Uncharted 4, after that, 16, and then there's a gap of 3 with nothing in there, so I'm just going to imagine like it's not there. Actually, no, Uncharted 4 is not number 3. God of War PS4 is at 19.5. Why was this out of order? What an Emmy kill. Yeah. You got, after God of War, it's Gran Turismo 5, Gran Turismo 4, Horizon Zero Dawn, Gran Turismo 2, <laughs> Gran Turismo Sport. <laughs> Ronadilio like, soccer. <laughs> yeah. How, uh, have you played Horizon? I have not. You'd like it. It's like Zelda, but fun. I st look, I like Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> I like it's, Zelda. It's like I know you okay, hate listen, 3D okay, listen, Zelda. It's Breath of the Wild, but fun. 
first off, I still enjoyed Breath of the Wild, I just think it has terrible replay value. Imagine Breath of the Wild, but like fun, and has replay value. It doesn't have the weapon durability system. You just hate Zelda. What do you mean I just hate Zelda? Yeah, you, you just don't, nothing about Breath is good? Nothing. Actually, yeah, what is good about Breath? It's just actually a bad think, open world game. I think the weapon durability is actually interesting. I don't. Okay. I think the weapons they provide are interesting. I don't think weapon durability is inherently bad. I just think it was done bad. Okay. I think the world is... The world is built well, it's just empty. Yeah. If they put things in it, I'd probably like it a lot more. I just think... I don't think they should put things in it, I just thought it should have been a more compact world. That's fair. If they wanted to do the exact same... But then, like, it would have lost the aspect of exploration. I feel like... I'm not saying, like... I think if it was physically, like, half the size... It would have still kept the aspect of exploration because the breath is fucking massive. I know, but like, if they make that world, why not flesh it out? That's how I think about it. Like, I feel like it would have just been a better game had they decided to add stuff to the world rather than make it so small. I thought they had- I thought there were things in the world, they were just too far apart. Yeah, why not add more things, like, that aren't Korok seeds? Because the way they did the world, there's nothing they could add, like, add item enemy wise. Variety. Add small you can add huts. enemy variety, like, but add like. Add small huts, add enemy variety. That's all you need. You don't need a lot to make Breath of the Wild necessary, like the space. You don't have to do a lot to justify it. It's just they didn't do anything. That's my problem. Like, Crackdown 2's world is very empty. But, and gigantic, but the way they got away with that is by making different areas, different territories that could be taken. And having random checkpoints here and there, adding agility orbs, which gave you like an actual upgrade, putting them fucking That's what everywhere. I'm talking I thought, like, I think if they just added, if they could have found a way to like add something you could get that's yeah. helpful. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, you don't have to add, you don't have to subtract from the world, just add to it. But like, because of the way they built it, it's fucking impossible, because they tied everything to, like, shrines. Okay, the, yeah, you've got a point, but I also don't think it's impossible to add small upgrades that matter without removing shrines. I just don't but know... But I also think that shrines shouldn't be getting fucked. Yeah, I just don't know what they could add at this point. I don't either, Cause but I think they could, they could figure it out. Both the stamina and health was gotten by the same item and you got them from shrines. Yeah. The only like thing that you didn't get from shrines was heart containers and that was from the divine beasts. Yeah. Go away. Like It's also why I partially don't like the uh runes because you're given all of them at the beginning so there's nothing else yeah. to get throughout the rest of the game yeah you know what have that be a pickup you don't have to do anything major this will kill him for sure i think he's already dead but i'm just gonna keep putting missiles on okay. him this cool he? yeah all right i just uh mash him because missiles do lots of damage and I can't really tell. Yeah, I just kind of have a general idea at this point. Fuck Samus is so cool. Yeah. It never loses the impact. She's so sick. I yeah. love Samus. This is so nasty. Yeah, the fucking bulbous <laughs> yeah. tail thing. <laughs> She just picks it up, she's like, ooh, I know And there's an just a there. cube in there. She's like, mm, I can smell an item cube. Yummy, yummy. I knew it. Phantom cloak, now I can hit a button. Upgrading suit. 
Aeon capability. Let's go. The suit Aeon ability. Self upgraded? Yeah. Okay. The suit's part of her body and she has physical amnesia, so as long as she starts to remember okay. how it works, it's not that big a deal. I know it's a stupid explanation, but it's the best one we got in universe. What we got next? The Emmys here are both dead. Now we've just got to get out of here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I guess we'll just head to Cataris and start there. Ah, fuck. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I have passed the controller off to Cameron, so Cameron will now be your guide through the depths. Actually, wait. Oh yeah, no, I should be able to go down. Yeah, it is currently fall, as you can tell, because it's 2021 and we're playing Metroid Dread, which means it's either fall or winter. No there more fall, my guy. Ah. Uh, damn it. You know what fall reminds me of, man? What? Soup. Does it? Yeah, it's a nice cold season in Texas. Sometimes too cold. And I'm gonna hit the save. Yeah, that's fair. It's time to save. It gets too cold in Texas sometimes, but you know what? It's never too cold for a nice hot bowl of fucking soup. Yeah. That I'm so good. glad I started cooking uh, clear soup. It's so good. It's tasty. Clear soup is such an easy recipe that everyone should try. Like, fuck you. If you don't go to hibachi super frequently, you probably don't really know what it is or haven't tasted it. But I assure you, even for you novice cooks out there, it is something you should cook. Here, let me we'll do a drop a little knowledge bomb on y'all. Go to your local store with ten dollars and. That's it. Just go to the store with $10. Just go to the store with $10. <laughs> well, go to the store with 10 bucks. Grab yourself an onion or two. White onion. Grab yourself a bag of ginger root. Grab yourself some garlic. And let's see. Ginger root, garlic, onion, and carrots. Some nice organic whole carrots. Not mushroom? That, you don't, that's not necessary. Okay. If you've got a little bit of money to splurge and you're willing to spend the whole ten dollars then also grab some green onions and grab some either baby bella mushrooms or some white mushrooms take all the stuff besides the green mushrooms and the onions dice them up as thick as you want because it really doesn't matter the size of your cut you can do whatever the hell you want as far as that goes throw them into a pot with a little bit of sesame oil on the bottom a tiny bit just to get them searing like, not enough to where it matters. Sesame oil's got a bit of a taste and smell to it. But just enough sesame oil to where they can get sizzling. Get those sizzling, get them a little charred, get them a little burnt. The onion, the garlic, the ginger root, and the carrot. And then after they've sat there, they've started to let their flavors go out. You start to smell it a little bit. You're like, hmm, I can smell that. Go ahead and stick in a full box of chicken broth. Not stock. Broth. And then also and put half a box of beef broth. A tiny, tiny bit of water. Like a fourth of a box of broth worth of water. So like, take that chicken box, fill it one fourth up with water, dump that into the soup too. Put that in, let that sit in the soup pot and simmer for let it simmer for like an hour or two, and you will have some amazing soup at the end. Clear soup is so easy, so so nice to make. It's so good for every meal. It's so good as a meal by itself, and you don't have to season it at all. Yeah. It's tasty soup. It's really tasty soup. A little bit, you can then chop up those mushrooms, let, cook them on the stove, chop them real thin, then chop up some green onions, stick them in raw. It's so good. Tasty ass soup. Tasty ass soup. I'm a big fan of Japanese cuisine. It's real easy. It's real, real straightforward. Like, I wish I liked more things, because I love food, and I know Japanese cuisine is tasty as fuck. 
but I just don't like things. What do you, what do you not like? like? I think Japanese cuisine is one of the few things you actually would like. I'm not a fan of like any fish thing. Yeah, but like I wasn't I know for the there's... longest time, and I still love Japanese food. Like I don't think of sushi when I think of Japanese food. I'm also thinking... not a fan of like rice with fillings. Another type of shit like what that. Do you mean rice with fillings? Like dumplings, uh, onigiri. Do you like fried rice? No. Dude, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm taking away your food license. Starve. <laughs> taking it away? Oh, I did. I shouldn't go over here. It is crazy to me that you don't like Japanese. You don't like fried rice, like. I don't like fried rice. I don't like egg. You don't need to put egg in fried rice. I've never seen fried rice without egg. Lane gets fried rice without egg because he's allergic. Oh, okay. You can just ask them not to put egg in it, and they I... won't. Just say you have an egg allergy, they'll keep it separate till the end and put it in everyone else's. Okay. I need to Come learn on, where's, how to fry Where's rice. my brain breaking? Yeah, right there, thermal door. It's open. This? No, the one to your left. Well, that one too, but like, to the left of your cursor, the thermal vent. Right there. No, down. Oh, this? Yes. Is it open? I'm pretty sure that was closed. Either way, there's an open thermal door right there you need to go. Yeah, through. I think it was closed when I first got down there and just yeah, you have to stand my brain. For a bit. Yeah. No. Oh. Actually, there's a thing down here. Some help, yeah. Because I'm uh, playing Man, like a. You're not allowed idiot. to say you like eating or you like food if you don't like food. I like, love eating. I just don't like things, which sucks because it means I can't eat food. Oh. I guess it's like me in video games. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I love video games. I just wish there were good ones. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it is. We're playing a good one right now, though. Oh, oh. You, you foolish fool. That's why there was this. Yeah. We'll say Dread is one of those very, very rare video games for me. You know? One of those super rare video games I have actually nothing to complain about. Literally nothing about this game is negative in my eyes. I just adore this game top to bottom. This game is very good. There's a thing there, right? Yeah. Screw attack. Yeah. You don't parry those? Nah. I fucked it up too much and now I just shoot them with missiles. I just parry it because they left me one shot up. Parrying things is way more fun. Uh, you see, I'm bad at game. If uh, people didn't get it from the play I've done so far, I'm bad. Do you know what time we started recording? No, like one-ish. Okay. We'll figure it out. Not like I'm punching a clock, I like this game. Yeah. I also like talking to all of you at home. Yeah, anybody that's got some fun recipes, never, never feel bad. Never, well, just in general, don't feel bad. Yeah, don't feel like, bad. Never feel bad telling me on Twitter, at WizardmanDFW, in my messages, or in our comments about your recipe ideas. Let us know. I love to cook, and I will always try whatever is given to me, assuming the, the like ingredients are accessible. I enjoy cooking a fair bit. I just never do it because I'm a lazy piece of shit. Is this still the first area? No, it's Cataris. Is this Cataris? Yeah. Did we go to Cataris? Yeah. Oh, we did go to Cataris. Okay. I see. Yeah, there's three Emmys here? No. Oh. Yeah, we got a little spider fuck. Fucking going through these one block hole vents. I wish that was me. Why can't I go in there? Alright. That. Ah, I see. We're going in here. Yeah, you're fine now. He's gonna be coming up around the left, though. Yeah, it's right below you, I'm assuming. That's a charge door. Oop. In we go. I have no idea. Well, I'm doing this. You found it. 
Now we just proceed to the left. <laughs> Head back through? Yeah. Because now that vent is going to be open. Now, where is this? Uh, it's safe. I'll do that later. It's this way. I like puzzles like this. Yeah. It's not really much of a puzzle either. There's a lot of games that do similar things where you like follow wires and stuff. You know what game does that really well? Hmm. Payday 2. Yeah. All the alarm systems for all like the bank vaults and stuff, all the and, like the power and whatnot is like wired properly, and you can follow the wires to turn off all the alarms and stuff. It's such smart game design. It it just it shows confidence in your nope. design if you do that. I, I like when developers take advantage of like real work and stuff like that. I'm not a big fan of real just use regular shots, man. You see, I'm not thinking too hard. I'm trying to listen and be part of the conversation and play game. That's fair. It's it, hard. It takes a lot of getting used to. As a professional commentator, I have gotten pretty used to multitasking with my brain and these kind of things. Yeah, I am not quite used to it yet. Takes a, it does take a long time to get there. Well. Yeah, keep smacking him. Smack the shit out of that guy. Yeah, fuck you. Die. Cool, now I can do this. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh. There's nothing. See, I made it. You did make it. I didn't fall down. I know we touched on this in a different video that'll be going up later, mm -hmm. but what do you think about that Warner Brothers platform fighter? Oh, it's interesting. I hope it's good. I hope it's real. That's the main thing for me. Like, whether or not I it's good, go I don't care. I hope it's real. Because yeah. I want Nintendo to feel threatened. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl is one thing, but if we start getting big companies like NetherRealm, who were real fighting game developers, Making Even real. if they're not very good fighting developers. Wait, the fuck? Like, oh, I went in a circle. You did. Oh, okay. I don't know if this is particularly helpful. I haven't done much since coming. You've not. I think I should head back. Like, even if I don't think NRS themselves are very good at their jobs, mm -hmm. that doesn't matter. Yeah, you can go up there. What matters is that it's a AAA studio pouring assets into a platform fighter. Yeah. We need more of that shit. People with notable characters who want to do crossovers or not making platform fighters to threaten Nintendo. Because I want Nintendo to know they're just another pond in the fish. Wait a second. That's not <laughs> how that saying goes. I don't want them to know they're just another fish in the pond. <laughs> okay. You were going the wrong way. Am I? Yes. Well, I'll just... Go back up, yeah. See, I'm legendary. Nice, nice it's on the left there. Ah, uh, yeah, this way. I just head through here, I guess. Yeah. Well, no, because this door doesn't work. I head to the one below. Come on, let me through. Yeah, as long... Like, because Nintendo has stagnated the genre for a long time. And they, they don't even, like, do much with their own game. Yeah. I want more platform fighters with more unique mechanics to do more things with more IPs. I just want more because it's a genre that shouldn't be ran by one company. Fighting games yeah. would suck if Capcom was the only ones making them. Just like fighting games suck right now because NetherRealm Studios, not NetherRealm, uh, Arc System Works is the only one making fighting games. Name me a fighting game released by a studio that isn't Arc System in the last like eight years. Capcom and that's it. They haven't even put out a game in that long. Uh, it's just five came out in like 2016, so it that would falls be... in. That was five years ago, though. Yeah, but you said eight. I know, but like, since Street Fighter Five came out, the only fighting game that's come out, only fighting games, have all been Arc System Works games. Yeah. It's like they are, and they are stagnating the market so hard right now. Every yeah. game plays and looks the oh, goddamn same. It's so annoying. 
I want some diversity. Mm-hmm. And I don't want diversity that French bread brings. Fuck Melty Blood, too. More anime Melty bullshit. Blood? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a new fighting game came out that came out within the five years that is an arc system works. Guess what? It also sucks. <laughs> I heard to hear you in my comments going, not a real fighting game player. You don't play Melty Blood. You think Melty Blood don't, sucks. Don't fucking ignoring Mortal Kombat. And Mortal Kombat isn't even fucking coming out! Mortal Kombat's development cycle is already gone. Mortal Kombat 11! Yeah, I know. You're right. The game was good. For like a week. <laughs> they... It's interesting how much they want Mortal Kombat 11 to sell on Switch. Yeah, they keep trying. They keep putting Mortal Kombat 11 on sale on the Switch. It's like, every day it's like 75% off. 11 cents. Mortal Kombat 11 cents. Yeah. Is, they're really trying, and you know, I've gotten close, but I still haven't bought it. I, I have it already on Xbox. Yeah. It's a good game. Mortal Kombat 11 is good. I... I'm okay with where the story went, except for the DLC, mm-hmm. but I still feel like it just... Mortal Kombat isn't there. Yeah. Uh, There's something about Mortal Kombat way. that just off-puts me. It's how... I'm just not a, necessarily a fan of the way it feels. I've just never yeah, clicked with it. That's what I'm talking about. Like, there's just something about the way NetherRealm games Ah, the map. That I don't generally like. There's two notable exceptions to this, mm-hmm. which would be uh, Mortal Kombat 9 and Injustice 2, kinda. I think Injustice 2 is pretty fun. I played a bit of Injustice. I like. For my uncle, one of my uncles on my dad's side, I like beat the story for him. Yeah. But. It still just doesn't feel that great to me. It's not an amazing fighting game by any means. I'm not like saying that it's like a saving grace for the company. Yeah. It's especially animated horribly. Yeah. I would recommend anybody watching go check out the Abitorial series on all the NetherRealm Studios games. You will become quite, quite uh, understanding of the term fence punching. Fence punching? I haven't. Even all heard the that. NetherRealm characters have this thing where they like. They bend the top of their bodies, but not they don't put their weight in the stuff, and they look like they're trying to punch over a tiny fence in front of them, huh. rather than, like, throwing an actual punch. They're all so stilted and weird, and they don't really work in any sort of anatomical sense. Like, it just spits in the face of, of like, game design and animation in general. Yeah. And the reason it's so scrutinized is because it wins, like, they win awards with it, they win, like, animation awards, Mm -hmm. they win graphical awards, and it's like, if you're gonna award mediocrity, they're not gonna get any better. Yeah. I think Mortal Kombat 11 looks pretty good. Like... It does look good. I think a lot of the animations have been polished as well. There's still a couple issues, but, like, nothing nearly as egregious as Injustice 1 and 2. Yeah. Or Mortal Kombat X. I or I just need to hit the X button more. Yeah. Um, yeah, I want to head down there. Yeah, I just do a little, little U turn. I mean, it's very loud in my right ear. Yeah. Damn, he's got those. <laughs> I'm good. He's good. He's so good. I've done two of them. That's true. You have a 100% ratio right now. Ah, uh, shit, wait. That's not the way you want to go. You don't yeah, I don't want to run anymore. back into the Emmy. I want to get over there. How do you do that without the wave beam? I need to get the wave beam. Where the fuck's the boss? No, I know where the boss is, but... We want a sequence break, don't we? Yeah, we can do we can do sequence break, but we need to get the morph <sighs> ball, which we do by uh, killing this guy. This guy? Yeah. So I do need to head here, but... Yeah, you can get the, you get the wave beam... Where? There's a teleporter that we have to get to, I think. No, we can just get to the transport, I think, which is up at the top. Oh, that one? Yeah. I have to get there through there. I get on this side. I don't actually know where you're supposed to go right now, but I know that by regular progression... Mm, I know, I know. By regular progression, you'll be able to reach the sequence break. I know that doesn't make any sense, but... Yeah. This save point's really lonely. <laughs> uh, yeah. I forgot what- oh god, fuck I you. I hate this guy in particular. This guy- 
has always screwed with me. This is the worst enemy in the game. Deadass harder than any of the boss fights. Hey, I've parried the Emmy twice. I keep getting hit by it. Yeah, him. that guy actually unstoppable. Oh yeah, this is where we are. Grab the you can grab the E tank here now too. Yeah. I'm gonna go grab the E tank part first. Then head up. And grab the E tank. Yeah. Yeah, don't die in here though. Uh I think it heals me when I grab one of these, so. Not an E tank part. It doesn't. Nah, it doesn't. Sad. Okay, you are one hit from death. Now I'm not. Now you are two hits from death. Nice jump. Oh, what are we talking about? Uh, Nether Realm? Oh yeah, Nether Realm sucks. Don't buy their games. If you buy their games, that's fine. You're allowed to. Okay. <laughs> Nether Realm games are good. I uh, just... I They've never clicked for me. Yeah, they just don't click with me either. They've made some games I enjoy, though. I think, uh, like most companies whose games I enjoy, I think they're first for their best. Mortal Kombat 9 has a sense of freedom to it that yeah. I really, really like. I think, at times, it's for the worst. Uh, just continue on, guys, that guy. At times, it's for the worst, for sure. Mm -hmm. Because characters like Kratos are stupid. But Kratos was also not tournament legal, so who cares? Yeah. Do you know why Kratos wasn't tournament legal, Cameron? Pop quiz. Nope. I do not. I think there's something in this area. Maybe I just can't get in through this way. Characters who are not on every platform are not are never legal. Oh yeah. Kratos is not in the Xbox version of Mortal Kombat. It's the reason why one of the uh for Soul Calibur, one of them wasn't legal, right? Because it wasn't available on all. Darth Vader, I think? Well, generally guest characters. Like, I Spawn wasn't legal, Heihachi wasn't legal, and mm. Link certainly wasn't legal. Yeah. But in HD edition, I think uh, Heihachi and Spawn are both legal. I okay. don't know, though, because I don't know the competitive history of that game very much. Ah, I right. I still can't get it in there. watched it. Any... <sighs> If every person on the planet watched this channel, I don't think anyone would be able to answer that question because I don't think anyone competed in that game. Oh yeah, there's one up here too. What the hell? Yeah, you got it's a Shine Spark puzzle. Cool. Yeah. This game is so sick. Uh huh. I could honestly just play this game forever. It's a good game. It's a good, good, good game. All right, since I'm moving on, you wanna. Yeah, I'll take over. Okay. A uh, Dyron here? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Look, we were still talking about Nether Realm. Yeah. I can. Other than, I can't think of any other games they did than uh, Injustice and in Mortal Kombat. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, Nether oh, okay. Realm Studios, their logo, their logo is Scorpion. Oh, okay. Like, Nether Realm is a Mortal Kombat thing. Oh, okay. The, I, Nether Realm I thought they a did more. is a subsidiary made by WB after they purchased Mortal Kombat. They turned what was left of Midway into uh, mm, Okay, Netherrealm. yeah, Midway. They had a lot of shit. They did, but they don't anymore. Mainly because they went bankrupt. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> happens when I, your company goes bankrupt. I don't know why I got so invested into a uh, Hydro Thunder. Hydro Thunder. Is that a the Midway N64? Property? Yeah. They even have a Midway uh, boat in it. Interesting. I don't know how I didn't notice that. Yeah. Uh, they did a lot. Midway did a shit ton of old arcade machines. They did and none of them ever did well. Yeah. Yeah, Midway had like a ton of properties that didn't sell. Er, Imagine if Nintendo yeah. was all Metroids. Uh huh. That was interestingly. Midway. I've enjoyed every Midway arcade machine I've played on, except Mortal Kombat cabinets. Except Mortal Kombat. That's but funny. It's just because I don't enjoy survived. Mortal Kombat. This is so dark. Yeah. Did you? Uh, oh, you were probably playing in a dark room before, huh? This was brighter on my TV before. That's. I think it's because the light was off. Right now you have the light on, so it seems darker. No, it was also the middle of the day, though. Yeah, but I you always have might, the shades closed. Might just be my capture card making it darker. 
Yeah. I think my capture card's a little bit darker anyway. Okay. That audio, that video is just gonna be straight black. Yeah. I do know that, uh... Good thing of the map, literally. Midway did a lot of racing properties, right? I believe so. They definitely I... did a handful of them. Yeah. What's this? Wade uh, beam. morph... No, wait. Wide. Wide beam. Well, it's close enough. Yes. Now we can do things. Yeah, now we can finish that other area. I, uh... I didn't do much. I just got us to die, Ron. I didn't do too much either. Just did the first boss. We did the first boss and the first enemy. Oh, that's true. Yeah. First two Emmys. You'll do the first two Emmys and the first two bosses. But, uh... At the, uh... Now, second largest arcade in the world. The... Fun Spot in yeah. New Hampshire. They have a ton of Midway cabinets. I just played on a bunch of them. I can't imagine so. Midway was a gigantic company. Yeah. For in the arcade days. And it was, a cabinet that I really liked was the uh, was a Star Wars one where you're like flying in a ship. Oh, I know what one you're talking about. I don't remember the name of the game though. But that is a good ass game. Yeah. And it was like it's done really well for how old it is. Arcade cabinets are like surprisingly high tech. Yeah. I'm I'm always such a fan of playing some new arcade game I've never touched before mm -hmm. and seeing what crazy fucking hardware they were able to squeeze into this old ass machine. Yeah. And then uh I know I mentioned this before but I got to see like the the first starter arcade machines which were like the electromagnetic Space yeah. games. And we saw those at the uh, the video game. Machine. Yeah, we saw them there too. And then I got to see uh, was it the largest pinball machine in the world? That's sick. I do want to see that. Yeah. They have a lot of interesting things there. That's in New Hampshire. Uh huh. That seems like a much nicer place than Chicago. New Hampshire is a nice place. I enjoy my time. What, what's the temperature like in New Hampshire? Uh, summer it can get hotter. Like, but. Even Texas hotter? Not Texas hotter. They have water parks there? Uh, they have like one or two. They what's, don't have what's much. What's fun in New Hampshire? There's, that's the thing. There's not much happening most of the time. My family, my grandparents have a lake house. So we head there every summer and just have fun swimming in the lake. Going on boat rides. Uh, go to the, our, the Fun Spot Arcade once. Do they, uh, do they live there, or do they just have, a, uh, like, a house there? They live at the lake. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's... They live at a rather large lake, actually. It's, like, the 11th largest in... I, it's either the U.S. or the world. One of the two. Basically it's the same the thing, really. Yeah. It's a rather... It's a really large lake. Like, you can easily take, like, an hour or two on a boat traveling from one side to the other. That's nutty. Yeah. Go away, go away, go away, go away. <laughs> uh. You can tell when I pick up the controller because the movement's a little bit more crisp. Yeah, the movement's a little more crisp. Uh, you know I'm playing because I get those ME counters. <gasps> I don't. That's why I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm talking all this shit. Next time I fucking do it, I'm going to miss so hard. Nah, uh, next time you do it, the pressure's gonna be on, so you're gonna get even harder. I forgot where to fucking go. Oh, awesome. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Now it's it's time. Yeah, see, so, like, these are mother- these, these are, like, mother brains. Which is interesting. That's interesting. Inter I thought they were- I thought they were similar, but I didn't think they were actually mother brains. They have to be something similar, because they have the same rings as mother brain. They're literally brains. And I get a new energy source? Yeah. So it has to be Chozo. That's my guess, at least. Plus, like, they literally look like the robots that Samus grew up with from the manga. It's so, so interesting. It's there's weird. There's no way they're not Chozo in nature. I can imagine they're Chozo in nature. I, it's just, like, interesting. It's just interesting. Uh, that arcade in New Hampshire has, just in general, a lot of... It has a lot of interestingly shaped arcade machines. Like, really old ones. Like, some really old, uh, bike ones. Bike ones? 
Yeah, you know like how new, uh, there are a bunch of newer arcade machines that like, you're on a motorcycle bike? Yeah. They have like, older ones of that. My Emmy kills are nuts. They have a... Uh, <laughs> I'm doing some sick ones. They have one that like... Is really short and long like an actual like, car. Oh, that's cool. Imagine playing Crazy Taxi in that. Yeah. It's... We're going fast if we just got the north wall. Uh, we've been going quickly. <laughs> we kind of know where everything is, so we haven't worried about like getting lost. Yeah. Unless one of our brains is like, wait, where? That being said, I don't know where the fuck to go now. Uh, if you get the morph ball, normally you would head to uh, Crade, the little fuck. Yeah. That's fine. We're gonna head that general direction, I think. Actually, no, we aren't. Yeah, we're heading in the opposite. We're heading down there. We need the power suit. We do. Ah, uh, the yeah, Varia. You do get the. So we need to the, head. We, we need to the head. Varia before Crate, anyway. We need to head back to uh. Fucking what is it? Nah, in there is towards Crate. Okay. It maybe the red teleport is in there. I thought it was outside though. I, I think though. it's in here. Yeah. Because, like, you need to head this way first, anyway. Not because... That... We're not able to go in there yet. Okay, over here. This makes sense. That's it. That's the red teleport. Uh, I'm figuring stuff out. I remember how Metroid games work. Yeah. Two people makes this a lot easier. One person can be like, wait, here? Yeah, one no, person wait, can be like, here. no. <laughs> Time check. We know how Time for sequence breaking. Do we know how long we've been recording? Okay, we got another hour. Well, so we're like all. halfway into this. Yeah. Hope you guys have been enjoying the first episode so far. Let us know in the comments how it's Ooh. going. Can I try the uh, sequence break yes. jump? Yes. Once I get there, I'll have I'll pass the controller back. I want to try that jump. It's annoying. <laughs> I'll do a little practice once before I'm like actually doing it there. Uh. Out of like all the arcade machines that uh, Fun Spot doesn't have, it's weird that they don't have Crazy Taxi. They don't have Crazy Taxi? No. Everywhere has Crazy Taxi, man. Yeah! It's sad. I want to play. I hope. Anytime I go to an arcade, I try to find Crazy Taxi. I. I. You have stirred something up inside me with that game. I had no idea Crazy. I thought Crazy Taxi was just a video game. Yeah. You know, like. I, Silly me. Little did I know that Crazy Taxi was a fucking art form. It is so incomprehensibly difficult to play good Crazy Taxi. If you are a good Crazy Taxi player, no, you aren't. Like, <laughs> Nah, the people with the world records are. They get to claim they're good. Like, yeah, if you have a world record, you're good at the game. That's why I'm good at Crackdown. But like... <laughs> Man, Crazy Taxi is a series. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's multiple. Games. There's so much shit that goes on, like, uh, fucking tech-wise. I can't believe how technical it is. Yeah, like, I can't believe it's all intentional too. Uh huh. Like, it's crazy because the game will be like, if you like hit the brake, then immediately like one frame later, like switch into uh, reverse and switch into normal gear, or power gear, or drive, or whatever, and then slam on the pedal, you get a crazy dash, and then you can chain them together for, like, crazy boosts. Yeah, and it's a you... crazy dash, and then the limiter cut. Yeah, then you, like, start to get, like, rewarded for it. Like, it gives you points and says in the corner, it's like, this isn't some crazy bullshit that people made up. The game it's has real, this and it. it's intentional. And it the mission one, mode teaches you. It expects you to do it. That is nuts to me. 
Yeah, because, like, if you play it without any of that shit, getting anything above, like, a C is fucking impossible. It's, like, impossible. Like, I was playing Crazy Taxi like a human at the arcade, right? Uh-huh. And then I decided, what if I start spicing it up? And learning how to Crazy Dash on real hardware is so hard. It's so weird. The time difference between uh, when you have to switch gears and then push the button is so far apart, it's just awkward. Anyone who speedruns on the Dreamcast version of Crazy Taxi, you're fucking carried. I know that, because I'm carried. Nah, I, like, I think I actually think they're more carried if they play on other versions. The Dreamcast one, like... It's at least it, a real game, yeah. It's, it's the game, but, like, at the same time, you don't have to deal with, uh... The game cutting out on you. True, true. And just not being able to physically see what's happening. That does that only happens because of my disc, I'm assuming. Maybe. Maybe it's where's, just the disc. Where's power up? Is it here? Power up. Is it Yeah uh, I don't think you do it here. I think you do that in, in Cataris and then head to like Diron from it. Does Diron have the uh Where do you get the bomb? The bomb it's like the bomb and the gravity beam are like right by each other, and you need to have both. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up so. with the 3% I have left. Metroid Dread Bomb. Morph Ball Bomb location. Uh, yeah, sure, I agree, whatever. What area is it in? Uh, it's- we're off to Dyron for the second time. It's in Dyron? Yeah, it's in Dyron. Though you have to get it by doing, like, some skip. I think it's- I, I think the skip is in Cataris, and then it sends you to a different part of Dyron. Oh, I think you're right. So it's- yeah, it's in Cataris? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Unless- no, wait. Hold up. Wait, babe. I didn't go in any of the red areas, so I didn't really get to look. Yeah. So I guess we just gotta take the red teleporter back. Yeah, because, I mean, we're stuck here anyways. Yeah. But, uh, and then we have, uh, going back to Crazy Taxi, the Crazy Drift. Yeah, Crazy Drifts. Um, the Crazy Stop, which lets the person, lets somebody stop within, like, fucking five frames. Crazy Taxi is nuts, and then the, the, the fact that the game expects you to be able to pull off all this shit by the end, to be able to succeed, is crazy. And then, like, to do well, you have to be really good at it. Yeah, you can't run into anybody, you have to... It incentivizes you getting close to other cars, but not hitting them so you can make more money. Anyway, I got 14 people at the arcade. 14 people? Yeah. 14. Oh, yeah, customers. yeah. I'm nice, is yeah. what I'm trying to say. I got really good mm -hmm. at playing the cabinet. I like If you've never played Crazy Taxi before, go try and find your local arcade, if it exists, and try and see if they have Crazy Taxi. If they do, tell me your high score. I guarantee it's not close to fucking 14. You're gonna <laughs> know how insurmountable that is <laughs> once you've tried. Yeah, if, if it's your first time playing Crazy Taxi, you're gonna learn. That's oh. a hard. No, nah, that's heading to. That's heading to Crate. You don't want to go here. But uh. <sighs> There's just so much going on with that game that I can't believe was intentional. I know, right? It's like, it's it's a Sega thing. Uh huh. Like <laughs> it's just a Sega thing. They love doing it. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they knew about Zips and Sonic and they just left them in. It's... What other properties does Sega have? Yakuza? Yakuza? I haven't gotten to play that one. So... I'm just... Because I don't know any others, I'm just going to say that Crazy Tax is my second favorite Sega property. <laughs> Yakuza games are good. Yeah. I, I've heard a lot of good things and I want to play one of them. Any particular reason why you haven't? Uh, well... Dude, where the fuck am I going? Uh, try the door to your right immediately. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a door there. Yeah. This feels correct. It might not be. If I, I'm gonna look like an idiot if it's not. 
but it certainly feels correct. Yeah, let's hope it's correct. Oh, my oh you might die. Not do that to me. Why did you not cease? Because probably because it was heading up the corner, so and it wanted to land. I'm so mad. <sighs> this is the most not worth it missile thing. It, it's not very worth it, but like whatever. We I need missile tanks. I use them up so much. I don't think that's how that was supposed to happen. I don't think I should. Uh -huh. have <laughs> that, that's how I, I've I've done those jumps a lot in this game, and they're required in some parts for like uh, different items. I'm so bad at those. This is not the right way. No, is it? Ah, oh, fuck. Use my phone. Okay. To try and look up where we're going. I, I don't want to go like crazy, dude. I know it's not over there. Oh. Yeah, hit the button. I don't know it. If it's, I just don't know what it is. There you go. Okay. What were we talking about? Uh. Sega, Yakuza. Oh and yeah. And I haven't Mr. played Dama them. Dene. Yeah. Ah. Uh. I have a very high opinion of the Yakuza series, which I mean, like, I I guess not of the whole series, because I haven't played all of them, so it's not yeah. really fair for me to say I like all of them, but I've played quite a few of them. I, I did notice a drop-off from Kiwami 1 and 2 from Zero, mm -hmm. but I also know that Zero was made later, so it's not really fair to compare them. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna look at Metroid Dread Bomb sequence break. Follow that. Maybe you do start in Dread Bomb. I'm thinking you do. You have to. Because there's no other way. God, I thought you went somewhere else. Is I think, the bomb no, in? I think Dairon teleports you back here for something else, like for the Oh, grapple. wait, does it send you to the, like, bottom right of Ataris? I think it does. Okay, then yeah. Yeah. Then it would be Dairon. Yeah, let me head back to the thing. Gotta get back. Get back to the pack. Samurai Jack. <laughs> Watch it! All right, I'm gonna to. Do you know who wrote it? Do you know who composed that song? Like who I performed it? I don't know. That is the Black Eyed Peas. It's the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not the Black Eyed Peas, it was a couple members of it. Oh, I apparently think. we need the grapple first. Yes, we get the grapple from this too. The grapple gives you this. Like it gives you the ability to do this. It's a straight shot for both of them. Okay. So I. I'm pretty sure the grapple's in Dairon, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's in Dairon. On the other okay. side of this exit is a grapple. No. It's okay, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it we're, out. We're smart cookies. We're, we'll get there. We can do it. We can do it. We uh, can see the break. Time check? Like, physical time? Yeah. 234. Alright, right. Yeah. Probably, I think we're like 20 more minutes in. We have like 40, 30 or 40 left. We're gonna get the sequence break before we end. <laughs> That's ambitious. Hey, if as long as we don't fuck with that jump, dude, we suck. We suck, but like, sometimes I'm nice. That's true. Sometimes you are nice. Sometimes I'm nice. You Other get, times get I'm like those, uh, literal enemies. walking into thing over and over again, hurting myself. <laughs> nah. Oh yeah, then uh, I did have a idea for a fighting game at one point. You did? Okay. Yeah. I haven't heard this. Yeah, you haven't heard this, because I didn't say it yet. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, I wanted to turn, like, when uh, the knockdown state into something where, uh, the other player can get on top of them and start beating them. Tekken has that. Does it? Yeah. Okay. 
Tekken has that in multiple different states. Does it? You can run on people in Tekken, you can also command grab them into... You, everybody has a dash command grab that goes into knockdown that gives you a pummel state, where you can use your left-right buttons to throw different punches that can be countered by the guy on the ground. Okay. Knockdown state's pretty in-depth in Tekken. Okay. And then, other than that, I was uh, wanting to get, like, some more flashy uh, get-ups. Like, uh, maybe launching yourself at the other person. Like, using your hands to push yourself off the ground towards them for a get-up attack. Instead of just the general hit stand-up. Tekken also has that. It does? You want to play Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I do. Tekken has, uh, interesting ground game. Soul Calibur also has that, actually. It does it? Yeah. Okay. I guess I just want to play a good fighting game. You just want to play, uh, 3D fighters. Because they typically have those. Knockdown, yeah. if you're talking about strictly 2D, Knockdown is normally pretty harsh in 2D. Yeah. It doesn't give you a lot of options, but that's with good reason. Because it may, if, if you had more options on Knockdown, you're like kind of breath busted. As I wanted to like... Also, in 2D. do you not remember this checkpoint? Do you remember being here like a hundred times? I, yeah, I remember this. So I, I just didn't know it was in right Dairon. Yeah. I just didn't know it was in Dairon. But, uh, oh yeah, we're grabbing this E-Tank that's here. How do we do that? Uh, you just jump with the ball. What do you mean? Yeah, just jump. What? Like, a after the ledge, you can get up there. What the hell? Yeah, if you uncurl. Oh, you're right, yeah. Yeah. That's kind of technical. Uh, isn't it right? No. Are you sure? No. <laughs> Because I thought it was like, you shoot through the floor. You're so right, bestie. <laughs> yeah, you just sound like you're a fan of 3D fighters. But yeah, it has to be yeah. hard. Knockdown has to suck hard ass in 2D fighters. Because if it didn't, it makes, uh... It makes your... Like, knock... It, it makes that your offense worse. Because you're not able to meaty or do good 50-50s if people have good options to deal with you. Yeah. Did that guy just save your life? Yeah, he did. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, bestie. Thank you. Oh, fuck, when was the last time you saved? Let's go do that. Yes, let's go do that. Hold on, wow. Oh no, I don't like this guy all of a sudden. Uh. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh, I don't like... I'm just gonna sit down here for a moment. No. no! We saved forever ago, I know it. Oh, wait. But it automatically checkpoints to set the uh, the get off point. Yeah, it does. Okay. We're we fine. should be fine. We should be fine. We're fine! The Samus gets out with a blue suit. <laughs> <laughs> we saved after that, because I know I saved. Okay, this isn't that bad. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Actually, I'll practice the jump here. Yeah. Sorry, I got sidetracked, so I never really finished my point, but... 2D fighters need bad knockdown states, because... That's part of what makes Street Fighter V such a weird defensive game. Because on Wake Up, everyone has invincible shore use. Yeah, I'm hitting this. Fair. And it just it makes, puts us uh, closer. It makes knockdown not as strong as it should be, but also makes focus more important, because it's knockdown states, basically, that, like, you can combo out of. Okay. I just... I was just thinking I wanted this type of thing in a 2D game. In a 2D game, it would be interesting, because that would completely change the way the game is played. I would yeah. like to see something like that implemented in a 2D fighter, but it would have to be implemented smart, and I think it would have to cost something. Yeah. Because making it not cost anything is maybe a bit too much, because I think you would make... You would basically, if someone got in a heavy knockdown, they'd just be like free, right? Uh -huh. Like, you would have to respect them. And I just don't think that's fun to play around. Well, I think the reason, the thing I was thinking of was making it to where like, there's a lot of a uh, lag once you get knocked down. Make knockdown worse, but make getting up possible because of how much how much worse it is. Yeah. Okay, that's an interesting idea. 
Who knows, maybe the uh, Free Thinkers Association fighting game that is eventually going to exist will have this yeah. in it. Maybe? From the pilot episode. We'll call <laughs> it uh, Pilot Knockdown. No, I... Nah. You could've climbed back in there, dude. I could've. I sick. just hit the wrong button. Oh, so you didn't you didn't uh, be reverse soon enough, basically. Be you reverse? didn't like turn around soon enough. Ah. Uh, okay. All right. Actually, you can die. But use your friend. No, but come on, heal me. Yeah, you're not turning around soon enough. Yeah. Shit. I've never died in the morph ball before. <laughs> I keep hitting the seen, button. I've never seen that animation. You never have. No, I've never died in the morph ball. I'm just goaded, I guess. I die in the morph ball a lot because when I freak out, I just want to hit that button. I don't touch that button ever. I touch that button a lot. Because in the air, it auto turns you into the ball. I Yeah, I never touch it in the air. I, I also yeah, I'm going don't back really down mash here. in the air, I guess. You looked up that thing? on uh, Google, and I immediately got three news articles popped up in my notifications <laughs> about Metroid Dread. <laughs> like, Google knows how much I love this game, Yeah. but Google should also know how much I don't like it. What you mean, don't like it? I just, Google, get out of my, get out of my shit. Yeah. Get off my ass. But that's me not liking Google. That's what I said, that's, that's me saying I don't like Google when I said oh. I don't like it. Okay. I love Metroid Dread. <laughs> like... <laughs> No, no way was I saying I don't like this game. Okay. I think the worst, the wor if I was being as pessimistic as possible, like being the most awful and snarky I could be to this game, tearing it a new asshole for every single flaw, the worst I could give it is a ten. Ah, poop. <laughs> like, like it's I, a really good. It is so good. The worst I could do, really, is it's like this game's just stuck on the Switch. That's the worst part about it. Unless. Yes. Yeah. Unless. No. I need to hit the button properly. Yes. That is how video games are played. I'm not doing it properly. I'm getting the jump itself. It's just the fucking wall. So you never played, like, a Final Fantasy, have you? No. Have you ever been interested in one? I've been interested in playing them. Just which, like, any in particular? Uh, Let's go. not any in particular. Why is that? None of them caught your interest in particular? I just, like... yeah, none in particular caught my interest. Hold up, it's... No. Not that. I know I have to jump super late. Yeah, you gotta jump Omega late for that one. Yeah. That didn't take me that long to get the jump. No, it didn't. I'm nice. You are nice. But like, only for some things. I think we should probably, we should play uh, a couple Final Fantasy games. Yeah. We'll, we'll probably end up playing a couple of the ones that are on Switch. Might skip 8 or something. But Yeah. Come on, just let me up. I think we should definitely play Final Fantasy 7. Because it has been a very, very, you should stop and take that. Yeah, I was gonna okay. hit this. It I is, kill him first so I don't have to deal with it. It has been a very long time since I played Final Fantasy VII, mm -hmm. and I'm very willing to go back and play that game with a much less critical lens and just enjoy it for what it is. Because mm -hmm. I think I'd really like it, going back to it. Because I liked it my first time, I uh -huh. just didn't like it as much as everybody else. Yeah. People really liked that game for a long time. Yeah, people still like talking about Final Fantasy VII like it's the best game ever made, and it's like, it's definitely a good JRPG, but it's not even the best one in its own series. Like, Final yeah. Fantasy VI, it's gonna be hard to beat Final Fantasy VI. Nah, oh, motherfucker, I'm dead. Yeah. It is gonna be really hard to dethrone Final Fantasy VI for me. That game is immaculate. I love Final Fantasy VI. Yeah. I know you love that game. You talk about it quite a fair bit. I do, because it's. Different. I just don't know anything about it, because I haven't played it. We'll play it this way. We'll play it. We'll play some. I wish there was a Yokai Watch game on the Switch for Americans. Yeah, there's one in Japanese, right? There's all of them. All of them they are? Ported them th yes. Oh. Yeah, one, two, three, and four 
are all on the Switch in Japan. Yokai Watch Jeb say fuck Americans, I guess. The level, it's level 5. Yeah, level 5. That's, say fuck Americans. That's the same people that make uh, Professor Layton. They closed okay. down all their American studios. They're no longer making games for us. Really? Yeah. That's lame. The last Professor Layton didn't do well, so they just said fuck all Americans. Almost, almost literally in their last couple statements. The last they also made Dino Kuni. Did they? Yes. Okay. Huh. You can die. Dino Kuni is a Studio Ghibli uh, property, mm -hmm. but it's owned by Level 5. It's the same way that like Disney sure. owns. Okay. The same way that Disney owns Kingdom Hearts, for sure. Okay, what exactly do I do here? Slide and jump. Slide and jump, that's it? Yeah. Okay. So easy. I was just doing it way, <laughs> way too so early, easy. I guess. Literally baby's first jump. Might as well be the first uh, jump of the game. Yeah, this way, okay. I have no idea why I couldn't get that. Obviously, because I failed it's just three too easy times. for you. I guess. I, yeah, I got the other one uh, pretty quick, but I failed too many times there. I have no idea where the fuck I'm supposed to head now. That's fine, it's basically a straight line. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a JRPG guy, I think. It's taken me a long time to come to terms with that. I know it's going <laughs> to surprise a lot of people that know me pretty well, but I think I'm a JRPG guy. There's just, I just, I just a lot of the popular series don't appeal to me. It's, it's your problem with all games. They're not interesting. No, not even, not even really. <laughs> It's more like I'm more critical to it because I do a little bit of writing, right? Mm, I see. I've done writing myself. I think that might, that was a safe point. Yeah, you might want to hit that up. Yeah. I do a little bit of writing. I do a little bit of trolling. So I've gotten kind of used to the way these should work. And I'm not saying that, like, you know, things have to follow exactly how I want them to follow or they fucking suck. Uh -huh. That's not the kind of person I am at all. In fact, I'm kind of the opposite. I want things to surprise me. I want things to show me stuff in a way that I'd never even thought of before. Make me feel things. That's why I love Mother 3 so much. And I'm put, I'm a, that's why I don't like a good chunk of the Persona series. Mm. Shin Megami Tensei as well, as a series, has fucking horrible writing. Thankfully, anybody who's ever played a Shin Megami Tensei game will normally agree. They'll either point to one of two examples that aren't bad, which is like three. Uh, I can't think of the one that's got like, they've got ported the Switch recently, but that game. Mm. And no, okay, I'll that's like the main Shin Megami Tensei game that actually has a story. All the other ones are like kind of dog shit. I see. But like, they're kind of dog shit on purpose because they're JRPGs that are supposed to be hard. They're supposed to be impossibly hard. I've only played one Shin Megami Tensei game. It was Devil Survivor. That's the one I'm talking about. On Devil the DS. Survivor. Yeah, it's, it's on the Switch now. Okay, it's so fucking hard. I beat uh, Pazu, which is the first major demon. Yeah. And then got stuck before I could go fight the second one because I just know couldn't how do it. Fucking stupid that is! A JRPG that sells itself on difficulty. Yeah, it's insane. I, I hate that. I grind. I really tried to play the game. I grinded the fuck out of it, and I just couldn't do it. I hate that. I. I do not think JRPGs should be a, a series sold on difficulty. Yeah. I think that's. Fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. Like, beyond belief, fucking stupid. I know that people are gonna fight me on that too, because some people I love their fighting, their games being difficult. Is the bomb in Dairon? I don't know where the bombs are. I think you were supposed to keep going down there. Was I? Like, more in Artaria? I don't know, let me check. While you do that, I'm just gonna go grab the missile thing that's up All here. Right. You need to go to the network station. And Dairon. So I am in Dairon. Yes. No, oh, there's a grapple beam block we can yank. That'll get us to the bombs. Okay. It's over here. 
top left of the Emmys. So it's 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 gonna be in the top left of the Emmy stuff. So it's further that way. Further like, this way. In the Emmy section. Okay, I'll head there. Oh wait, because I don't have to worry about dying now. Awesome, we can grab that finally. Oh, what were we talking about? I got. Uh, I got. I got sight. Oh yeah, Shin Megami Tensei. Shin, yeah. Fuck any RPG that sells itself on difficulty. I think that's stupid. Uh -huh. I already know if there's gonna be people in the comments yelling at me about that opinion. But hey, like, I agree with you. So whatever, they can yell at both of us. <laughs> it's like. It's... There are some games that can sell themselves on their difficulty, but guess what? They're never good. I have yeah. never played a game that was like, this game's fucking impossibly hard, and it's good. They're you always bad. You want a game to, like, secretly coddle somebody. Maybe not. That I'm not much. like that much, but like, uh... Wrong way, yeah. Yeah, uh, you want it to, to be able to, like... Push them in the correct direction while also not screwing them over. Grapple beam block, you, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. This, I don't think. It, this just gets us back into here, which isn't actually helpful. I would helpful. still do that, because I think it's helpful. Yeah, it's helpful, but not important right now. Eh. But, uh. A game should be able to. Like Metroid? tell the player where they want to go without actually doing it. Okay, I tried. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I knew it. I knew, the 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 I knew the next fucking time. I wouldn't get it. Damn. You traded all your swag yeah. for, uh... You are... Huh? What the fuck? He's a god? <laughs> I'm legendary. Where am I going? I'm going... Up. I'm pretty sure. Up and left. Yeah, you gotta go... I can't. You gotta go I have to the go right in door. here. Go up. And to the left. Okay, maybe not? No. That is correct. That's the speed. Which I get through here. He's gonna come through this side. Whoop! You can keep chasing me, bitch. No, that's through speed blocks too. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh no. 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 Okay. Uh, okay, we I need to figure out how to get through the semi zone. Worf. Yeah, I just need to figure out where I need to go and through here. You can apparently get to this from here. Let me try. Okay. Because I can't... Actually, I don't think it's possible through here, because it only it's you, sets you up back in this loop. Let me see. Let me, me first-hand experience this. All right. This Emmy is in a terrible location. You either have to be... Oh, you did it! You I'm got so the one-framer! I'm so sick! Get me the fuck out of here! Yeah, that's speed block. And then the other way is also speed blocks. That's the only other new entrance. But you get that for defeating this chuckle fuck. You're right. Uh, I don't really know how we're supposed to get there. But, like, I know that we can. I, yeah, I know too. Let me see. Maybe we're missing something. Is it... How about the purple teleport? Purple teleport? Yeah, cause that's down there, right? Yeah. We can. I think we can get to it. That doesn't go where we need to go. Okay. Hmm. Wait. Maybe we head towards that down that door at the bottom, where the E the E part was. Head to the left from there. Maybe. Oh yeah. That's, let's try that. It's. The only place I think we haven't gone to yet. How are we doing on time now? Oh, we gotta get a way to see this better from here. 
Okay. Hour 39 at 55. We hope all you friends are doing well, all so you like, free thinkers. At like 320. Okay. That's when it should be done. It's the, I think that's also accounting for uh, setup time. No. What the hell were we talking about before? We were just bitching about Shin Megami Tensei and how it sucks. Oh, so yeah. And just RPGs in general, right? I like our, Yeah, yeah, we were talking about RPGs. I was saying that I had become an RPG man. Oh, yeah, this is, a, this is an extra Emmy or extra Adam to talk about getting the grapple beam early, basically. Yeah. You are slowly recovering your abilities. I have still not but, uh, established what happened to you physically. I, I want to play some more, like, of the more popular RPGs, or JRPGs. We'll play them. We'll play them for the yeah. channel. I love me some RPGs. Yeah. I want to... I don't know if we want to do Nino Kuni on stream, on playthrough or not, but I'm at the very least going to play it. I don't know. Because I, I bought it. I don't think that's a game that would be both good for the, for the cast, personally. Okay. Oop, I didn't want to hit that. Sorry if that fucked you guys. Nino Kuni is. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm in the empty zone now. Yeah. It's okay. a game that's really, really slow paced, mm -hmm. and has a story that you kind of need to pay attention to. Ooh, can you get in there? Doesn't do too well with people talking over it. So. Yeah. I mean, we probably wouldn't talk over it the entire time. True, but I don't know. I think it's a game that should be experienced elsewhere. Okay. You should, like, it's a game that you should play by yourself. I don't think it's a game you should have people, like, okay. experience for you. So there's that one. For the games that I have on my Switch, like, JRPG-wise, it's that and Tales of Vesperia. I do want to play that. I have... It's it's either been a long time or I never have. I can't remember I played a Tales game. Yeah, same. I played one on the GameCube. I played... I think it was Tales of Vesperia on the PS3. But it might have just been a different one. It's probably a different, different Tales game. I don't think the same one was on the PS3. No, because I don't. Th I don't believe this is a new Tales game. It was a if like it's, if re. It's a, if it's a, like an old one, like a remake, remaster, or just straightforward, yeah. Then it might just be a one on the PS3. Yeah. Because Tales of Arise is the new one. And that one I don't think Who's is. Who's your on main Switch. character? In Vesperia. Yeah. Uh I don't. I haven't played. Vesperia yet, so I can't say. If it's the one I think it is, it was a dude with brown hair and Was it Lloyd? Clothes. Maybe? I think? If it's Lloyd, that is an old fucking game. Okay. That dude is in Smash Flash 1. Alright. He also has a me costume now. Huh. Oh yeah, can I uh, try out the Kraid one? Yes, absolutely. Let me get cool. There. I, w I wanna... I want to shoot into him. Hey, he is. Oh, we can probably get this fucking thing here since it's that. Yeah. Is one of the quickest ones. I mean, we can start getting a bunch of the secrets now. Yeah, we are. Just... We are able to start blowing through the game now. Hey, buddy. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ouch. Oh yeah, this one you're supposed to do with the cross bomb. Yeah. Oh shit, hello Emmy. Goodbye Emmy. <laughs> oh. Can't head through there. We're gonna have to head down. Hello Emmy. Eh, it's not even near us right now. And Well now he is. And he's lost us. He's I don't chasing. Really know where the nearest door is. I don't actually. There know. it is. I, that works. That's a door that works. Oh, I'm at two percent on my phone. How fun! You should probably charge that. Yeah. Uh. 
What other game was I supposed to fucking... What other game ideas? You know what? I got 2%, I'm gonna run that through and go through my notes for the game ideas I had. Oh yeah, there was the game idea of a platform fighter where once you, uh... When you start reaching kill percents, you lose body parts. You lose body parts? What do you mean? Like a zo like a- like, okay, thematically, how does this work? I have no idea how it works thematically, but it seemed interesting. How does this work? Like, an where you lose body parts, so what? Like, if you're Meta Knight and you lose your left arm, do you just lose the ability to up air? Yeah, something like what that. What the fuck? Like, if you u lose a leg, your jump is, uh, worse now? Dude, that's fucked up. Yeah. That's so shit. I would hate this game. <laughs> I would get so mad, because I'd be bodying some dude, and then I'd lose my fucking leg, and I can't walk anymore. I like my, all my fucking combos. I don't. Yeah. I didn't account for my one-legged, two-arm combo straight. <laughs> the fuck kind of whack-ass shit is this? I don't know, but it was an idea I had. It was like, Did oh, they pop off funny. like items. I, yeah, sure. Pick it. Oh my god! You can pick them up and throw them. Dude, that's what makes Zero Suit Samus so bullshit in Brawl. Does like, it? You can spawn as Zero Suit Samus in Brawl if you didn't know that. I didn't. You can like hold a thing to like, like you can do chain with Sheik Zelda. Mm -hmm. the same kind of command you can do to spawn as uh, Zero Suit. But when the power suit falls off, it falls off as eight items. <laughs> and items in Brawl were items so in Brawl are busted. fucking good. Diddy Kong had two bananas. Oh, like, yeah. And you could glide the toss that shit? Yeah. Dude, Zero Suit was fucking bonkers. You would start the game, 3, 2, 1, go, you're at 140. In a game where everyone does 8. Damn. Like, it was fucking nutty how much damage she was able to juggle out the bat. Okay. That's, that's a lot. It's fucking stupid. I would love a whole game based off of that. That's yeah. so funny. That is such a baller idea. Yeah. I thought it sounded, uh, like, stupid fun. It was like, ooh. I you're, just have to, uh, you're like, Tyler good. can imagine some shit with this, I'm sure. Yeah. Like, I, uh, I love that concept. I'd love to, even just, like, a shitty prototype or something, I'd love uh -huh. to the fuck out of that. I just have to figure out how to make things feel like a platform fighter. That one's only, uh, missiles. missiles. Yeah. Let's see, whoop. What were some of the others? Hmm. One that I had, which I don't know if it's exactly super great, was one where, uh, you play as a, like, three different characters, but each one can only interact with different types of, uh, like, ground and walls. I hate that. Yeah. Like a platform fighter? No, not a platform fighter. Okay. A platformer. I don't hate that as much. Yeah, I still I'm, don't I'm, like maybe it. Maybe I said the wrong. A lot of people have tried to make that. Have they? Yeah. Like, a lot of people have used that concept before. Hell, even, like, Gravity Guy kind of has that concept. Yeah. But, like, that was so cool. Yeah. Hello. Give me help, please. Yeah. Thanks. That's, uh, necessary. Hello, Crazy. Alright. Let's see if I can do the first form of Kraid with two E-tanks. I mean, you should. Uh, the first time I did it, I had, uh, four. Damn. Yeah. You can get a lot of fucking health. You can get a lot of health in this game. And I didn't sequence break it, so at this point, with the items that we do have, I could probably get like six. Yeah. Fucking love this cutscene. Samus is so cool. Yeah. I just, I'm gonna say that every time she does something, they, they nailed their character in this game. Mm -hmm. Kinda. There's one instance, that I kind of is the wrong word, there's one instance in this game I feel like is a little bit too eh, but I feel like she didn't react to, I saw a Kotaku article that talked that talked about this and I thought it was kind of funny at first, but then I thought about it and I'm like, you know what, they kind of got a point. Oh. She did not react hard enough to uh, the death. 
of uh, the other Chozo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. I wasn't prepared. Man, don't die to the first phase of trade. See, this is what I'm talking about. Bro, don't die to the first phase of grade. I'm fine for now. Not like this. Is Crate a bird? Uh, in the same way the dinosaurs are birds. I guess. He's like screeching. Yeah. I wonder how Samus deals with PTSD. I don't know. She didn't. Being very a badass, well. I guess? She did not take it very well for a while. Take a. Oh, like PTSD? One. Yeah. First sight of Ridley. Inconsolable mess for a, like a day. That's fair. Understandable. Yeah. How the hell does she deal with it? Like, does she just she get angry? Beat the fuck out of him. That's true. <laughs> Do you remember how to do the sequence break? Yeah, it's like on this wall here. Yeah, okay, there. This is Mash rather button, gross. Mash I'm mashing all of them, I don't know what button. Yeah, because you can die in there. I didn't know that. Also, he's so gross that yeah. that happens. Alright, that's all I know. I've played a fair bit around this area. I have no idea what's next at this point. I guess head to Dairon. No, no. I just had a really funny thought pop into my head. Yeah? Like, what if they put Samus in Smash? <laughs> <laughs> Samus is in Smash. Is she really? <sighs> yes. It's... <sighs> the thing about Samus being in Smash is that Samus does not have the sick movement. No, she doesn't have the sick movement. She doesn't have the multiple beams. Yeah. Because they did uh, multiple missiles instead of multiple beams. But you can have both, because you have and both And you have the... In general, Samus wants to beat you up with her fucking legs instead of uh, shooting shit at you. Which is, which is strange. But would Samus feel more like Mega Man then? Yeah, I was actually just thinking that in my head. I was like, what if she just felt more like Mega Man, and, but like her, but she had like the ability to shoot around her? Hmm. That sounds kind of sick. That sounds kind of busted. No, I don't think so, because it's not like her shots would do knockback. It would be like fox lasers. And then maybe. And then she could have different beams and stuff, like the ice beam, but the ice beam wouldn't even really be... It would do more damage, but it would fire slower or something to make it balanced. And mm. then it would, uh, like, start to freeze around, like, 180. She would still have, like, s standard smash attacks like she does now. But, like, she would, like, not have any normals at all. It'd all be replaced with, like, 360 aiming. Mm. I don't know, I feel like there's not enough unique concepts in Smash. Kazuya really set the bar pretty high, and then Sora is just a, kind of another character. Auto combos yeah. are neat, but like, he's just kind of another character. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just, everyone in Challenger Pack 2 was something. Yeah. They all did something really, really unique. Sora's most unique thing is that he's owned by Disney. The most unique thing is it was hard to get him. Yeah, the most unique thing is he's technically not a video game character. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, now we can shoot through the walls. 
I, I don't know if there's something you can get through there. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Uh, the Emmy zone. Just clearing this one out. Oh, okay. Right, because we have to do that. Uh, we haven't beat the boss here yet. There's a boss here? Oh my god, I forgot about this one. I forgot what it is too, I just know there's one here, because there was one in each area. Shit, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. I... What was it? The boss. Is this not the jellyfish? Nah, no, that's Berenio, right? Maybe. Maybe I'm thinking of something The fuck different. was this one? Cause... Oh my god. <sighs> I don't know. Oh, it's this fucking room! I, I didn't like this room for the fucking rocket thing up here. What was wrong with it? Oh. That. That jump is fucking you impossible. Just do this? I I tried, I couldn't fucking get it. It's not that bad. I uh instead of doing that just fucking infinite bomb jumped. I'm so jumped. sick. <laughs> <laughs> I just infinite bomb jumped through it because I didn't know what the fuck to do. You're gonna have to get past him. You're almost out. There you go. I don't have any on flash. Nope. Not yet. We get How that from him. Really? Yeah. I thought we got speed. I think boost. maybe Dude, it's speed I boost feel or like Aeon we Flash. We should have Aeon Flash. No, I'm pretty sure it's from him, right? Because uh, all the Emmys it? gave you like Aeon shit. Where do we go? The bottom left. That's where oh, it is. Over here. Bottom yeah. left. Is yeah. If you zoom out, you see the fucking this? face down there. Okay. Yeah. Get to it from. You can't- we can't get into it from here. What do, do I do then? You go to the bottom area, like what? before. Just what? you have the various suit. Oh, I head, go in from Yeah, here. head there. Okay. Also, while we're in the area, we should also make sure we pick up that actual full E-tank. Yeah. That's, uh... I think just it's either a bomb or a missile. Yeah, so what do you want to talk about for the last couple minutes we have here with our free thinkers? Free thinkers? Hmm. Let's see. Well this was the first episode, so uh talk back to us. Like how how do you think the episode went? What do you like? What don't you like? Yeah, let us know what can be changed, what should be changed in the future, if anything. I know we haven't given you a lot to work with yet, yeah. but you know, let us know what we can work on. We do want to make the best show we can for, for y'all. Uh -huh. And uh, it's a lot of fun to do. So yeah, let's come up with a question to ask them. Question for of the them day. To, yeah, Just question of the free, day. The thing to free think about. Uh huh. <laughs> hmm. Your 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 ah. think homework. What is it? We'll do something that you we have very famously to ourselves talked about. I want their answers. Okay. How many bodybuilders oh. <laughs> to pick up okay. the Empire State Building? I, I knew where this was going. <laughs> okay. So I I don't oh. want them to know what your answer is or my answer. I just want them to think about it first. And we'll talk about it in episode two. Yeah. That was such a sick way to, to not get seen. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I'm cutting it so close. <laughs> he is on your ass. Oh no, this isn't... Cool. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. You have to... Yeah, you have to head... No, head to the other side. Oh no. No. You did it! Yes. Fucking I'm down here. This sucks! No! This is stupid! 
Oh, you're gonna have to head through that door. Man, he moves so fast. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm just gonna do this. No! Not again. It's cause ah. Uh... No. He's okay. Yes. Were you you finally yes. did it. Oh, look at that. Fucker. Yes, <laughs> yes, we the did ghost. it. We can progress. But yeah, free thinker, uh, free thinker. Oh, yeah, there's a thing through here I think you can get to with a bomb in the middle. If you oh, just, yeah? yeah, if you just. Yep. Oh, wow. Free thinker question of the day How many bodybuilders will it take to pick up the Empire State Building? Mm -hmm. And secondary question, how many bodybuilders to pick up Pluto? <laughs> don't do math. Yeah. Don't, don't like, uh, over math it. I, I want your real answer. We you can do math afterwards. Thoughts. You want your free thought. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Let us know anywhere, really. Add yeah. us on Twitter. We, we don't. We, we do have an official Twitter. Yes, we do. I forgot about that. Did you? Yeah. I did too. We do. Have a, we do have an official Twitter. Yep. So be sure to hit us up on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. Let us know your answer to today's free thinker question. Oh, this to Berenia. I think. This is going to be a good place to leave it off. Yeah. So, cleared all of Darien? Mostly. Well, we got the, uh, got the skip on crate. So, we're making progress. We're making some good progress. But I think two more, and we'll be done. Two At more most. episodes? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for pogging out with us here on the Free Thinkers <laughs> Association cast. Be sure to check in next week where we finish the second third of Metroid Dread. Yes, indeed. Have a good night. Have a good night. <laughs>